Hey everyone, welcome to another sneaker review with me and today is a very special one because it took me 10 years to get this sneaker again. It's not only the very first Air Jordan that I got in my collection, but also ultimately it is my favorite Air Jordan of all time. So before we get started, leave a like on this video if you like this type of content. That's what the like button's for and I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help a lot. Please and thank you. Now I know I usually format my sneaker videos by showing you guys the sneaker, looking into the details of the sneaker and the background of it it and then sharing my thoughts and honest opinions on it but this sneaker is so special that i thought that i had to give you guys the backstory first most especially because this sneaker was actually a christmas gift from my girlfriend lynette 10 years ago after she received her christmas bonus from her very first job out of college Aww. just think about it 10 years ago i wasn't even making sneaker reviews back then since then so much has happened not only between us as a couple but also as individuals i decided not only to start making sneaker reviews on this channel but also i decided to fully commit to making youtube videos in the hopes of becoming a partner and for lynette albeit definitely more impressive went to law school graduated took the bar and passed it to become a full-fledged lawyer now of course some of you guys might be asking what does this have anything to do with the sneaker in 2021 this exact colorway although under a different name finally re-released and now in all honesty i'm not one to ask for gifts i pride myself on working and saving up for things that i want but from the moment i found out that these were coming out i not only knew that i had to get them but i also thought that it would kind of be poetic if i asked lynette to get them for me after she got her first job as a lawyer she was still in law school then but i still remember the day that i saw them i told her i'll never ask for anything you don't have to give me a birthday gift christmas gift anniversary gift whatever all i ask is that after you you get your first job as a lawyer it doesn't have to be right away but i want you to save up to get me this exact sneaker now i always believed that she was going to become a lawyer so getting these sneakers was just going to be a matter of time so i always kept an eye on these after the release because these sold out immediately and surprisingly the one and only pair that i ever saw in my size is this exact pair from aftermarket philippines big shout out to them i find it so amazing that i saw this post probably right after they released in 2021 and no one ever thought to cop them they were at a reasonable price it kind of felt like they were waiting for me like we were meant to be kind of like me and lynette you didn't hear what i said i said the sneaker was meant to be for me kind of like you and me <laughs> so finally after all is said and done two years after the release and 10 years since the first day that i got these in hand here it is let's finally reveal the sneaker so here's lynette and I want her to do the honors of revealing the sneaker to you guys. This is the first time we're actually seeing the sneaker in person. So you're going to get a live reaction of us seeing the sneaker for the first time. Ready? Here it is. Three, two, one. These are the Air Jordan 5 Moonlights or what they were used to call in 2013, the Air Jordan 5 Oreos. These are so beautiful. That's the first one you ever got me. I did the last that one over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did say, I promise, as long as you got me these, you, don't, you never got to get me anything ever again. And I'll be happy to. I mean, I'm so happy with these. And they're so special to me that the original ones deserved a spot right up there here so let me grab them real quick so here is the 2021 version and there is the 2013 version 10 years ago right there you can see like the age it's yellowing and all that it's such an awesome shoe i wore this all the time i stopped wearing them because i did notice some crumbling in the midsole and i was just afraid that they were gonna like finally give out on me but Oh my god, these were so comfy, so clean, easy to wear with everything. I did make the mistake of actually washing them. Now I'm sure you do notice that there is a difference in color. This one is a lot more faded than this one, but it's actually pretty, still pretty close. Like, if this wasn't crumbling, I'd still be wearing them, honestly. But, now I don't have to worry. These can stay at the top of my Hall of Fame, because now I have a new pair to rock on the daily that's so cool they're so clean they of course got the black suede on the upper super smooth super soft shoe comes in black flat laces with the signature air jordan lace lock up top under the laces and on both sides of the sneaker you have this rubber cage and that icy clear color one of my favorite parts of the sneaker is the ankle collar super comfortable very soft very padded especially with the lace lock it really hugs around your ankle you have the smooth and silky tongue with the gray Air Jordan logo embroidered in. 
same Air Jordan logo in white on the heel. And of course, last but not least, you have the signature Air Jordan 5 midsole with that fighter jet inspired pattern in black with speckles of white. You even have that Nike Air bubble at the heel. And of course, the black and icy rubber outsole. Now I gotta say, so much is going through my mind right now as I look at this sneaker. And I did mention before, one of the things that I dislike about some of the Air Jordan lines, especially for icy outsoles, is that at the end of the day, it does yellow. It makes it a lot dirtier as opposed to how clean it looks when it's still icy right there. But I think the Air Jordan 5, especially this colorway, is one of those rare sneakers that can get away with looking down and dirty and still looking great, kind of like Converse or even further proven by Virgil Abloh himself with his off-white Air Jordan 5 collaboration. Man, I'll be honest, I don't know what to say. I'm just so happy that I have this sneaker again in my collection. Aww. I get to wear them once again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lynette. I'm trying to find like a way to wrap up this sneaker review in like a more impactful way. But I mean, really, I guess it's just a feeling that I won't be able to share as much on camera as it is personally for me. I am a very nostalgic person. You guys know I love a sneaker with a story and what better story is there than the one I just shared with you guys. I mean, it's a symbol of my relationship with Lynette. It's basically the stepping point of me becoming a sneakerhead, wanting to make sneaker reviews, wanting to share something that I love with you guys. I don't know. It just makes me feel like warm and fuzzy inside knowing that after 10 years i finally have it back in my collection i finally get to rock it once again no doubt if i had to choose one sneaker that i had to wear for the rest of my life or just one sneaker to keep for my collection whatever the question may be hands down they have to be the air jordan 5 moonlights so big shout out to aftermarket for hooking us up with this sneaker and of course to lynette once again for getting me my favorite air jordan after 10 years so that is it for this sneaker review what do you all Think, leave a comment down below i love conversing with you guys there what's your favorite sneaker let me know follow me on instagram at abby Brata. i'm a bit more personal there i post stories almost every day and it posts there when i have a new youtube video out so it's one way to get notified other than of course subscribing to the channel guys it really does help a lot and check out the other videos on my channel as the banner says i have anything and everything in between on there and that is it for this sneaker review i hope you all enjoyed it thank you all for watching and i will see you guys when i see it bye guys